Hey and welcome, Kimberly Castleberry here with JustAskKim.com and today I want to walk you through setting up a brand new Google page for your brand or business. These are a newly announced feature to Google Plus and a really cool way to expand and extend your brand development for your brand or business. Now I am here on plus.google.com slash pages slash create and I'm logged in with my Google account. It's important to remember that you can only have one profile account. So if you have multiple Gmail accounts or Google Apps accounts associated with your brand or business, add them to the email address of your existing account so that you can keep everything under one roof and be compliant. I am on the create a page page and I want to pick a category that my business belongs in. And really this is going to depend not only on what your business is, but how you're going to set up the page. Meaning, are you going to do a personal page, such as we often do on Facebook in our own names, in which case you might put it in one category, versus if you're going to put it in your actual brand name, which then it's ideal to put under product or brand. And in some cases, other is actually a good fit due to a slightly different structure, but not not whole lot. So just pick the category that best fits your brand. I'm going to pick product or brand. And here I'm going to come in and I'm going to put in the brand or product name. And I'm going to put in some sexy business name. Okay, this needs to be a brand or business you own, your keywords, and verifiable as yours. I'm going to put in your HTTP, some sexy business name.com. I'm going to select a category. I'm going to put that. Oops, come down here. I'm going to throw that in travel. Just select if you need to restrict by age. You're going to know that depending on your industry. Select check next to I agree to the page terms and service. I do suggest you read this. Okay, a lot of businesses get in trouble because they don't. They don't understand that they're required to have a single Google Plus account. They don't require that this is required to be in their business brand name or they want to load it all full of keywords and do things like that. Know those terms so that you protect your account. Click Create. It takes a second to generate the page and it's going to bring me into the next page here where I can set up a tagline. And we're going to say, bringing you all the best in business for a tagline you can set a profile photo here it's the same as you set it for your Google Plus profile account same uploader works very easy come on through an option to tell your the people that are following your profile if you want to tell them about the page I don't suggest doing this until you've got the page just a little further set up come click finish this brings me into the welcome tab now it can be challenging for some people to get back here, but this is such a neat little view that if you sometimes feel frustrated navigating the web, go ahead and copy this URL down because it's plus.google.com slash your page ID slash welcome. And this gives you several tools to help you get started, including places to learn more and such. So I really suggest this. Even gives you access to a nice widget for your blog. So keep track of that ID. It says that now we're in our page, we are posting as our page. It's automatic and default. There's no choosing right here. Over here you come on the left to where your picture is. And here I have a drop down. So you open this drop down down and here you see both your or not only your own profile but also your current pages and that lets you easily flip between them and uh, function on all of them. So I'm going to click OK there. Now I'm going to click over here on the name of the page to bring us into the main view. And here we are in the main view and it's plus.google.com slash one string of numbers slash another string of numbers slash post. This is ugly. I suggest finding a short URL and I really suggest using a domain based service or something similar that you control or rerouting a actual domain name that you own here or a subdomain. I don't suggest the services due to their possibility to hijack traffic and to mess with stuff. Here I am in the place where I can edit the profile and I'm going to open this and here I can open this and I can adjust the page name and I'm going to close that and I can adjust the tagline. I can change the picture. I can adjust who that the page is following can be seen the same as your profile can do. 
I can click over here and I see some details including default posting status for photos. I can set geolocation requirements. I can you know, choose whether we show this tab at all. I can come back over here to post. There's nothing here yet. I'm going to show you where to put something there in a minute. Come back to about. About is a very, very important component of your page. And what you want to do is you want to come into introduction and you want to put something very SEO friendly but reader friendly here. The Google profiles and Google pages get a strong SEO leverage. And what you put on this info tab, well more than what you put on the wall or on the so-called post page, is going to garner you SEO traffic. You want to pay a lot of attention to getting this info tab right, to making it reader friendly, but also very Google friendly. Get your keywords in there, get associated keywords in there, um, get interest keywords in there depending on your topic or your niche industry, get anything by which you may hope that your readers could even possibly stumble across you. Okay, again, keep the reader centric, centric content towards the top, pull the SEO centric content towards the bottom of the info tab, and really expand out the info tab. Develop on this because that's going to get you so much additional leverage and so much more traffic. So do that right. And that's really the only hard part of setting up these pages. I'm going to click Done Editing. And here you see that your page is up. If you want to see which pages you actually have at the moment, you come to plus.google.com slash pages slash manage. And I click there. And here I can find all my additional pages in this view as well. This is a second way of accessing them. The neat place is that this is very easy to delete pages. Be careful, it's actually too easy. Okay, it is It is very, don't touch those buttons. They're, treat them like they're hot because there is not like four layers of confirmation there to protect you if you click something you shouldn't. Okay, be careful with that. Now what I want to do is I want to come back and I'm going to click on my name in the upper left and I'm going to, this is going to bring me into the home feed for myself. Now under my name, I'm going to click drop down. I'm going to select the page we want to post as. I am now in that page's news feed and I'm going to post a new first entry. Okay, I'm just going to say welcome in this case. I'm going to click share. So here in the news feed, you see the entry there, and that is actually in my own news feed at the moment. But let's come back to what's marked as profile. We're in the page, but it's the profile for the page, which is a little confusing. I'm going to come back there, and here we are. We see the entry. Now, this is what your fans are going to see, what your followers, what your community is going to see, and have the ability to comment on. If you need to do any editing on that, over here to the right is a drop down with all the basic utilities that you're used to having with your Google Plus profile. All right, I hope you enjoyed this. That is all that is required to set up your Google profile, your Google page for your business. I hope you enjoyed that tip. And if you'd like to learn more, be sure you check out Google Plus 101, a course I offer. And subscribe and get to know me, hang out, join my page. I look forward to getting to know you. Kimberly Castleberry with JustAskCam.com. Have a lovely day.